This spreadsheet is the Black Shoals option pricing model. This is designed to price European options that expire at a specified date which differs from American options that can be exercised before their expiration date. Here are your legends on the right. S, we have T, X, strike price and volatility. R is the risk-free rate. Day is in uh, the days. Over here I have in the legend we have the quarters. Uh, one quarter equals 91.25 days and so forth. Here's more variables for the, the formula which is just down below here. So here's the call formula for Black Shoals and here's the put formula. Here are the legends. The only thing that they use a little different, they use K, uh, and I, I put in X. However, it's uh, the same thing. And here's the price. Here's D1, D2, uh, the log of D1, D2, and the negative of that. And here are our prices for Black Shoals. BSOPM, Black Shoals Option Pricing Model, ND, no dividends. It's assumed that these options do not pay dividends. There are some that do pay dividends, and we can make a slight adjustment for this by adding a way to calculate the dividends and discount it. We always want to remember that money is worth less in the future, so we do need to discount that money. So just assume that this dividend is paid on an option, which is uh, this dividend is paid on a stock, excuse me, and that's seven cents for a six-month period in this will actually be worth only 0 0.061 we subtract that from the twelve dollar price of the stock so we call it now the adjusted stock price so the Black Shoals option model will now calculate the adjusted stock price and it will not it will not calculate the regular stock price It'll be slightly discounted because we need to subtract the dividend from the stock price Let's put a zero here and let's see if this calculator works. If we put a zero here, it should be the same as the page before, which it is. Okay, so without a dividend, it's exactly the same. Put call parity. Black Scholes option pricing model says that for a certain call price, there needs to be a corresponding put price. Here is the formula for that for the put. Once we we do need to know the value of the call, we need to have one of the values. So if we have the call value, which we could probably calculate here, if here's the call value, here's our legend. Oh, here's it's a little different. This is kind of a this is a nice nice uh, feature. If we just say if it's not a normal time, just say it's 45 days. All well, it does basically divide the 45 divided by 365, and it gives us our uh, decimal equivalent of, of a year, because everything is annualized with the Black Shoals option pricing model. Let's go back to how we were, though, 182.5. Same thing here, 9 months, 0.75. So we place either of these uh, decimalized equivalent of days, annualized days, here, and we put in the rest of our data, stock, strike price, time, volatility, risk-free rate, and the call price that we did calculate here, or was given to us, uh, what's on the market. And this is what the put should be. So if the put is at a different price, uh, we could say that an arbitrage opportunity exists. Stock equilibrium, this is another type of formula where we could calculate the price of a stock. So a known value, 12. If we have this if we have the strike price, if we have the strike price, the time, call price. risk-free rate, put price, and we can see it's pretty close. So it comes out to $12.05. This is $12. So it's a 
pretty good, pretty close to the formula. And that is the Black Shoals option pricing model.